So this is my journal. It is a, an Archer and Olive A5 dotted white page notebook. You can't really see it, but this was where I was supposed to write 2020, um, and I never did. It's marked out in pencil, but I never did. Uh, <laughs> and I actually started this bullet journal in March, as you can see here. I was months late as I will be again this year. <laughs> but yeah, I started this in March over my spring break right before Le Coronavirus hit. So I uh, just included some like fresh start things. I really started my like journey to self-enlightenment in March, I guess, but w whatever. <laughs> um, so this says trust and then this is the definition of the word trust because I was being, um, you know, and... <laughs> Then I have my books I read 2020, which if you watched my 2021 planning, you know I made this again because I love this spread. So these are all the books I read in 2020, rated accordingly. Yay. Yeah, I didn't read that many. I read 11, maybe 12 by the end of the year, who knows. So then, like I said, I started out in March. Um, yay me. But those are the two plants that I got on my way home from college because of the coronavirus so that was the last place i went without a mask in public drama okay um and so i made a big list of things to do because i knew i would get bored so that's that and then i tried to i don't know i was trying to manifest i guess trying to make it not a terrible time <laughs> and then i made a schedule because i was having to do classes from home and then we get to may um, yeah, I, sk I skipped the month of April, I guess. <laughs> I was using a different planner back then, um, not my bullet journal, so that's why. But May was the first month that you saw me actually do on my channel. So yeah, starting now you can watch me make all of these months. May definitely has a different flavor than the rest of the months, which is exciting. This one is more watercolors and cute little things. And you'll see as we go along, that um, my drive to actually fill out the habit and mood trackers in particular really changes up <laughs> through the months. I had a lot of fun with May and during May I had like collage materials all over my desk so I really just went for it um, and then I started actually using my bullet journal to plan in the month of May so that was good. Um, and then I made uh, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I made video ideas spread and I um, started trying to do weekly spreads because I was writing everything I had to do down on post-it notes. So I was like, maybe I should actually use my bullet journal, which is made for this purpose, instead of wasting post-it notes. Um, yeah, so there you go. And then we move on to June. Uh, June was my one of my favorite months because... Uh, one, it seems like people really liked the mushroom theme, and two, I really liked the mushroom theme, so yay. Um, I also just really liked the colors I used in June, so yay, here's June. Um, and again, me slightly using the mood trackers and the habit trackers. I feel like I'm getting better. Um, I, I am getting better, actually, until we get to... April, but you'll see that in a moment. Here's me writing, still writing things on post-it notes, but trying to write them in the days of the week afterwards to look like I actually used my bullet journal. So that's really nice. <laughs> oh, you don't need to see that page. Okay. And then we move on to July. Um, July is my birthday month and trees are my favorite thing. So <laughs> I made the theme trees. Again, like you can go watch me plan all of these if you want, I guess. You don't have to, um, but this was one of my favorites to draw the trees for. I just thought it was really cute. Um, and then I began my one moment a day spread, which if you've seen some of my other bullet journal videos, you know that that's like my absolute favorite spread because I love to record the good moments to look back at. Like it's just really wholesome. Um, so yeah, that was the beginning of my one moment a day spread, as you can see. I'm very bad at consistently filling it out, but um, there you go. Um, and I also really like this mood tracker for this month, but I never used it because I um, used watercolors for the different emotions, so that was never going to happen every single day. <laughs> um, and yeah, July I didn't really use my 
bullet journal that much so or and I didn't really use it in August either like what was I doing I guess I had an internship but like I didn't have to remember things to do but anyway then we move on to August um this is another favorite theme of mine because I like how I used the um pencil instead of a black outline to fill out the doodles for the month yeah as you can see nothing happened in August um but yeah I didn't use any of the habit trackers not a single time and I didn't fill in a single mood so that's really good good for me I filled in a few moments of the day which is good and I used like one weekly spread um but I really liked August theme and then we get into September when I actually started using my bullet journal because school super exciting and I also really like the little monster eyes yeah I think I yeah um <laughs> But yeah, so now we get into some school assignments on these nice little months here, which is cool, I guess. Again, not using the mood tracker, not using the habit tracker, but just continuing to leave them there for some reason. And then I actually really started using my one moment a day. In September and October, I really used them um, because, I don't know, because I liked them. And uh, these are just like weekly, like this is all my schoolwork and meetings and stuff. So I'll skip over some of this for you. But this is like how I plan for school because it needs more space, you know. Yeah, let's skip. And here's October. So this is when I started getting down and dirty and like actually using my bullet journal and figuring out what works for me in terms of like what I need to actually plan effectively. Um, so that's really exciting because I haven't actually used my bullet journal as my school planner in a long, quite a long time, um, because last year I just found that it was like quicker and easier for me to use a write-in planner from Muji is actually a really good planner, but, uh, yeah, so this was exciting for me. Um, and I actually started tracking a lot of habits and I started tracking my sleep. Don't look at that spicy little four hours over there. We don't know her. And I actually filled in my mood tracker a little bit because I decided that instead of colors, I would do like pen slashes, which made it a lot easier to fill out than getting out markers, which I figured out that I will never, ever do. <laughs> um, yeah. So there you go. We got a lot of bad moods <laughs> in there at the end of October, which is super fun. Um, but yeah. Here's some more one moments a day. I filled out the most moments in October and it's really, really nice to be able to look back at these, especially if I'm having like a bad day or missing my friends while I'm like here at home over winter break and not at college. It's just really nice to be like, oh my God, I totally forgot about how I meditated for 23 minutes on the lawn that one time. So yeah, I think it's a really sweet spread. Um, if anything, from this video, I recommend that you do that. <laughs> um, it's sort of like gratitude stuff, I suppose. But yeah, more school. I'll spare you the details. Then we, oh my god, I almost forgot about November. I was like, what? Where's December? Um, but anyway, November, not one of my favorite planning months because I did it pretty speedily in order to like have it for me to use which can be the problem with bullet journals which is that you don't like if you don't make it into oh my god i filled out the mood tracker so much look at me but yeah that's the one problem with bullet journal is like if you don't fill it out in time then you don't have a place to plan which is bad um but i guess i was feeling uh quite a bit happier in november so that's really good Look at me go. Look at all these happy slashes. Wow. Wow. I'm so proud of myself. Um, and more one moment a day. I completely forgot about the month of November, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot more moments a day. I had some good moments in November. It was a good month. Blah, blah, blah. Election day. Woohoo. Okay. Um, these are like random notes from class and stuff. Things I needed to remember. And then we get to December. December. So my december plan with me was also a mess um you can go watch it that was a glowing endorsement by me 
but I actually really used I didn't use I'm sorry I feel bad about this I wish I had used it because I'm sure I have a lot of wonderful moments god dumb I'll do it in January um but I actually really used my calendar in December which was surprising but I was trying to plan out when all my finals were due and when I would do them so that's what the arrows are about I was like okay my fiction portfolio is due here so I'll do it here here it didn't happen like that but I really tried and it helped with the stress so that was good <laughs> um so yeah that's me planning like you're supposed to do kind of proud of myself whatever um and then a mood tracker I used it a little bit more in the beginning of the month because I think I was like jazzed on November so that's good and then <laughs> don't look at my sleep trackers abysmal i got six hours of sleep for like two weeks straight um i was very sleep deprived yay gift guide can't see that um and then we're getting to the end here these are just the last couple weekly spreads of december just me like oh my god this was like the busiest week wow buy books from me by the way um yeah I really, really was depending on my bullet journal for a while here because I literally just had so much to do because not only did I have finals, but I decided that I would sell books on top of that and work. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And then we get to 2021. I will buy a new bullet journal. It might not be until March, but that's it. Not super exciting, but lived in used actually for once and i got through about i would say three quarters of the journal which is big for me so yay i haven't decided what journal i'll get for the new year um but i'm pretty sure it'll be another art journal of i might just go with like brown pages or something who knows we'll see but anyway thank you for watching this video i hope you found some useful information or some inspiration Although you probably didn't, it wasn't that exciting. Um, but I will see you in the future. God, why? Why am I like this? Okay, goodbye. <laughs>